I've got five children. There were six, then one passed away. Um, this boy here is my first one. <laughs> yeah, he's the man of the house. And his twin sister is still at school. And these are my girls, my angels, the twins. His name is Bongani. This is Bongiwe. That one is Dumiso. I stay with them here and my mom. So, this is our little house. <laughs> to have uh, so many children is, is too hard. But I'm used to it now. And I'm so proud of them. Because uh, they didn't say because we don't have a father, we don't have a, a, a proper family. So we can just do as we like. They respect me. So I just let them be, but I'm very strict when it comes to school. Because me, I didn't finish school. I don't want them to be like me. I want them to succeed in life. To have something that I couldn't get. Like, like now, I've got nothing. I only got my kids and the little job that I'm doing. I want more than that. Come and explain to me here. Because I don't understand. Maybe she's telling me the wrong things. I'm saying yes, yes. Being a mother to me is not that I hate it. I don't. Really, I don't. It's just that uh, I became a mother at the early age. And I didn't enjoy being a child. Being a teenager, I didn't. I want to see myself going far. I just uh, want my uh, firstborns to finish school. When they done, it will be my turn. Yeah. What were you busy with? That side. Where, Nana? Hmm. What's her name? I'm not telling you anything. Why? Have you, you done it? Yes, 12 times. Anything. I want to know. So that I can buy condoms. <laughs> <laughs> and me, I don't want to be a grandmother. I'm still young to be a grandmother. Mm -mm. You're no, are you ready to be a father? Mm. <laughs> you. That's a new thing to me. You know, uh, I never thought this day will come when I, uh, I'm gonna hear something like this. Have you ever go and get tested for HIV? No. So you must go because you are sexually active. You must go for your test. Otherwise. I'm gonna kill you. If I die, I die. That's a stupid answer. Mm -hmm. um, this is where I spend most of my time playing soccer. And, yeah. I don't like sharing my stories out, you see. I just like everything to be quiet and keep inside me. If 
for me it's hard because I'm the only boy in the house so I can't like explain my problems with them. The things I do are based on what most of the guys do and I can't share with women. It's like sometimes I feel like I'm the man of the house and sometimes I just feel like a mate. Yeah, and it's just roaming around and not doing anything. Yeah. It's hard for her to support the whole family. That's why I somehow I, I just do what I have to do outside to help. Yeah. The whole place, they all know me and they know what we deal with. If you touch one of the family members, then it's danger for you. She was still young, I think at the age of 19. So she had no idea what's happening. So she was just scared. Because not every woman can do such. She's a mother and she's a father to me. Yeah, I can say she's the best. There's a boy. Sometimes I feel very bad Why? that they're growing in this neighborhood because here there's so many things that are happening like drugs. You see like it's drugs and prostitution, alcohol, things like that. So for them it's not good. For me it's fine because I'm old. What I did to protect them, I, I, I created a friendship between us, a relationship that uh, whenever they come back from school, they must be with me. We go out and play, do whatever we want to do, then we come back home and cook, we eat, we sleep. My daughters, um, before we opened that uh, thing, what they call it, a virginity testing, we used to just sit in the house because I was scared that they will be raped outside and all of that. Then I said, okay, let's just uh, open this uh, virginity testing thing then uh, that's where we teach them how to behave as a woman, how to stay true to yourself until you get married. It's a traditional thing. Long time ago it was uh, done by the Zulus only, but now it's for all the nations. <laughs> is for protection you see when the boys come and touch them then we must give it to them because nobody's allowed to touch them they are virgins they need to be respected nobody's got a right to do anything to them for me, the reason why I brought them here is um, I want them to be safe, uh, to enjoy being a, a young woman. I don't want them to, to be used by boys to sleep around. We're running away from uh, HIV and AIDS, um, early pregnancies. When they get married, it will be their choice. Then they enjoy to be here, so there's nothing I can say to stop them.
that time when I was growing up, everybody in the community knew that I was a lesbian. So men, they decided no, they're gonna change me back into being a woman. The only way to change this person is to rape her. And it didn't happen once. It became a habit. <laughs> uh, it became, I became their playground. I didn't even get arrested. I was like scared to talk about it. Not knowing that I was pregnant. All of my children. They are a product of that, but I don't let that destroy my uh, relationship with them. Without them, I cannot see myself waking up in the morning. If they were not around, I would be dead maybe. I used to think about killing myself, but again, what if what happened to me happens to them? and you find that I'm not even around to protect them. Coming up, right? I've been in love before with another lady. Uh, just because I was in the over what, uh, what happened to me. Our relationship didn't work because I don't feel comfortable being touched. That's my problem. But hopefully God will give me someone one day and I will be glad if I can be given somebody. I'll be happy.